what is up all you beautiful people you guys are not gonna believe this this is my first collab my first official collab and i'm so excited to be doing it with no one other than nate from big guy appetite oh <laughs> that makes me so happy yes we finally have been listening to all you guys Everybody's been asking for it. So, you know what? We were like, huh, let's do this. So, this is what we're doing. I'm going to insert a few clips from his channel so that you guys can get some insight on who he is because he is a diva. He's dope as fuck. He's super cool, super down to earth. My sister from another Mista. He is the male version of me and... Yes, he's absolutely awesome. So go ahead and check these clips out real quick. My goodness, you guys see, he's just awesome, like totally amazing. Um, we had started commenting on each other's channel and, you know, somehow it just sprung into like this friendship. We were FaceTiming last night and he was cracking me up and we were laughing and we were talking forever, literally like we've known each other forever. It was awesome. So you guys, please, please, please go check him out. Send him some love, you know, show him what you guys are all about. Like tell him that Crystal sent you hit that notification bell, just spread the love because you guys are so good at spreading love that I know he's going to feel it. He's going to feel the wrath of the crystal subscribers. Yes, he is. So, whoo -wee. Um, we are both going to be drinking the Estrella Jalisco. You guys have seen this in my videos. You guys know this is my shit right here. Company that did a collab with Estrella Jalisco. How funny. They did a collab. We do a collab. <laughs> She's just working out for us, ain't it? Anyways, so um, Golden Road Brewing Company is in California. Uh, these were a limited editions. Uh, they were super hard to find at first. And, oops. Um, he was not able to find them in Arizona, where he's from. So your girl had to share the wealth and send it to him. They taste like a mango paleta. So we figured that this would be awesome. This kind of food would be awesome to do with this beer. A refreshing, nice mukbang for you guys. Like, oh, so beautiful. So good. So, I'm going to explain to you guys what I got. I feel like my hat's, like, super square. I've been wearing, like, dad hats. And so, like, when I wear these, I feel like it's, like, super, like, boxed out. But, your girl slay. Your girl slay. Your girl slay. So, I have mixed fruit with chile, tamarindo. Um, I have the chilerito on it. Oh my gosh, there's watermelon, cucumber, um, jicama, and cantaloupe. These are called cevichuros. So they're little churros. Oy. Mm. In a ceviche style with shrimp, and it has jicama in it, mango. Mmm. These are pepino locos. They have Japanese peanuts. They're, they, like, you drink them and then bite them. Japanese peanuts, tamarindo, cueritos. Um, they come with these chips. Mmm. And cucumber. Oh, my gosh. Then I have a tosti loco. Now, this has cueritos and... Um, Flamin' Hot Fritos, um, it has the churros in it, um, Tostitos Chili Verde, 
chips and Japanese peanuts, um, little tamarindo candies, you know, the nice little chewy gooey ones, and chili, Valentina, lemon. I mean, there's so much stuff in there. Anyways, I am starving. This is like seriously haunting me right now because it just smells so good. So I'm going to start out with one of these. Look at how good those look. Oh my goodness. This is going to get super messy. Like super messy. It has clamato in it too. Mmm. 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 There went that. So, I want to talk about Nate for a little bit. You guys, when I tell you this guy is funny, I watched one of his lives for seriously. like three hours the other day I was so entertained his lives are something out of this world he was drinking he was having a good time I mean somebody definitely that I would love to party with mmm let's get one of these shrimps Mmm. Me and my boyfriend were cracking up. Mmm. He has such a good time. Super sweet, super down to earth. Like, it's easy to be his friend. And trust me, if you guys check him out, you will fall instantly in love. I am not even joking. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how, how I'm going to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. There are all kinds of things in here. That is a salted prune. Mmm. Anyways, he's just a doll. I promise you guys, you won't be disappointed. So, we decided that, hmm, we were going to talk about Some drinking experiences. 
and some drinking experiences that led us to quit drinking. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, this is so good. I've had a lot of drinking experiences. Mmm. A lot of really good drinking experiences. But I have had some bad. For instance... I'm just eating with my hands at this point. I don't even care. Mmm. So. My boyfriend and I drink really heavy. When we first got together. I mean, really heavy. Like, we consume more alcohol than the average human. Definitely should. And on my 25th birthday, me and my friends, my boyfriend, we all went out for pizza. Um, after um, I had a party at a local bar. And when I tell you, the whole bar was there for me. Seriously, at maximum capacity. So everybody who was at the bar that night was buying me drinks, buying me pictures, shots. Every time a new person would show up, I was taking shots of tequila. I was taking shots. You name it. They were buying it. I've always been a whiskey. A whiskey drinker. I love me some whiskey. But once you start drinking that wild turkey, oh, man, get you by the boo-boo. Anyway, when I used to drink before, I wasn't one of the nicest people. Um, 
you know, you make a lot of bad mistakes. Um, when you have so many different liquors in your system, that's not very good. I could drink. And that night, I was pretty soft. All right. I was cussing out my mom, being just rude. And she told me something that really stuck with me that day. She said, you're really not a nice person when you drink. I didn't care. I was like, whatever. Hmm. That night I go home. I start trying to like pick a fight with my boyfriend. Room spinning. He kept telling me, you know, just go to bed. Sleep it off. Nope. I was puking. I was mad. It was my birthday. I noticed it became a revolving thing because I drank a lot. That just splattered in my face. Oh my gosh. It is everywhere. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh my goodness. Saved by the lashes. Ah. My goodness. <sighs> Whew. I'm good. So, it just became a revolving door. <clears throat> I was always trying to pick fights with my boyfriend for some reason when I was drunk. And poor guy didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that at all. So there came a time where we realized, you know what? Maybe we should quit drinking. Really, it was maybe I should quit drinking. But with the support of him, he said, I'll quit drinking too. So that's what I did. I quit drinking. I built my relationship. Sober. And, you know, he never really got to see the true side of me. Not drinking. I had to give it to him, though. He stuck through with me through some bullshit. That's why I tell you guys, I don't know how I got so lucky because I I was a fucked up person. To him, to my family, 
All because I'd get drunk and stupid. Don't get me wrong. I drink now. I'm not the same person I was 10 years ago. I quit drinking alcohol for two years. When I decided, well, it wasn't really a decision. One day, we were in the kitchen cooking and one of my friends had left beer in the fridge. And I matured so much in that two years. I did a lot of soul searching. I kind of found myself again. <clears throat> and I, um, me and my boyfriend, we were cooking. And he's like, hey, your friend left her beer. I was like, it's okay. Just leave it in there for whenever she comes. And he's like, would you like one? Hmm? Are you really asking me that right now? He's like, yeah. Well, it won't hurt. I started getting little flashbacks like, do I really want to do this? And he tells me, don't worry, just, you know, enjoy one, relax. I said, okay. I got so buzzed off that beer. It was a buzz light. It was a 24 ounce. He poured it into a mug. I had not had that feeling in so long. I was buzzed. I only drink that one. And as time went on, I would drink one more. And if we were out to dinner, I'd get a beer. If um, we were at a party, I would drink a few. I um, I knew my boundaries at the age that I started drinking again. It's been mm, hmm. seven years since I started drinking again. And not once, not once, have I taken it overboard? Have I gotten so belligerent that I'm picking fights with people or being mean? Um, I drink to enjoy it now. I don't drink to get slaughtered and belligerent. I've grown up. And I'm so thankful for those two years. Because I don't know where I would be right now if I would have continued to drink the way that I did. If I would have never had the realization that it was such a big problem, I would still be doing the same thing.
It was hard. I didn't want to hang out with my friends. Because I wanted to be tempted to drink. I didn't want to go to parties. But that was something I had to do for myself. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. And my boyfriend, he still doesn't really drink. Every once in a blue moon, he'll drink one. Or if we go out, he'll drink, you know, like a couple of dinner or something. He's very responsible. And he used to throw him back back in the day, too. But he loved me so much and he wanted our relationship to work. Kuja, I'm going to do this with you. And he did 100%. And I'm forever grateful. I still love my beer. I'm just very responsible with it now. I don't want to hurt anyone. If you, if you know somebody struggling with addiction, or if you're struggling with addiction, the best advice I can give to you is to do some soul searching. Try to look at the person that you've become. And try to think to yourself, how can I be a better me? How can I get past this? It's not easy. You guys, it's not easy at all. Sometimes, you know, we just have to, like I said, do some soul searching. And when you're ready, you're ready. And, you know, I was ready. I was ready to quit drinking. I knew in my heart I was ready when I started drinking again. And I don't drink every day. I know it may seem, you know, like I drink a lot in my videos and stuff, but I really don't. I do it for, you know, to relax and, you know, vibe with you guys. But if you are struggling with addiction, it's never too late to get help. You can reach out to me. My Instagram is labeled below. Send me a DM. You need someone to talk to. I'm there for you. So, don't hesitate. Hmm. I almost killed all this. I'm sorry to get so deep with you guys. It's just that I really care. And I hope I can give you guys knowledge from things that I have been through. Maybe help somebody someday. Mmm. I have a big old pop I had and my hat keeps sliding up. Mmm. The place that I got this from is called Refrescaria Rainbow. And their fruit is so fresh. Mmm. Yum. Woo! You guys, I am so full. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I will also put some addiction hotlines under my video. Don't hesitate. 
to call if you need help then when you're ready they're down there um i'm so happy that this was my first collab nate thank you so much like you don't know how much this really means to me you know he's higher up there in the youtube game and um it's so heartwarming so you guys please go check him out i can't tell you how how dear to my heart that means because he is so so sweet uh. <laughs> i absolutely adore him so go send him some love uh don't forget to subscribe drop a comment down below hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload a video i love you all i really do and i will see you in my next